What's up YouTube? It's your girl Spread Blaze and I'm back with another video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I ask you to hit the subscribe button, give me a like, leave a comment down below. Today, I'm coming with a video. I've been seeing it all around YouTube, so I decided to do it my way. Today, we are doing the very first stud edition to drum roll. What's in my overnight bag? slash whole bag i'm bringing it to y'all stud edition now before we hop into this video i want to give a shout out to tomboy paris for this dope dope sweatshirt all the tomboys alike head out and shop tomboy paris i'm gonna make sure to leave a link to shop with them in the description down below they got all colors all different sayings and for this shirt it says tomboy a female with male like characteristics in collaboration with every woman who gives zero fucks about following the rules. Obviously, that's me. So yeah, shout out to Tomboy Parish. Shop with them. Now, let me start by saying, guys, I really hate that we have a stereotype that studs carry the backpack. Everybody knows this is our form of a pocketbook. So today, I'm gonna show y'all what I pack into my bag when it's time to go. Spend the night at somebody's house and have a slumber party. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna let y'all know what's inside my bag. Stay tuned. So, we all know that there are special things that you need in your bag when you go spend the night at that special someone's house. And I'm just gonna share with you guys what I put in my bag you know, when it's time to go spend the night, I pull up with the backpack because the backpack has all the fun. So in general, guys, you know, there's some stuff that every person is going to take and put in their backpack. I always have a trusty toothbrush and some toothpaste so I can get this breath right. You cannot spend a night at somebody's house and plan on being in somebody's face if your breath is not right. So I always take toothbrush, toothpaste, and I always have some gum in my backpack. You never know what might happen. So yes, I do pack that in my backpack. Also, I always take my own towel and rag so I can wash my butt. You know what I'm saying? And it's essential that you smell good. So therefore, I always have deodorant in my backpack. Always, always, always have the deodorant when you spend a night. When you get out the shower, guys, let me tell you something. Don't no woman want to lay up beside nobody that's crusty and smell horrible. So I always have a body spray. This right here is the fresh water that I got for Christmas. Shout out to my brother and my sister-in-law for purchasing it. This smells good. This is a Bath and Body Works men fragrance. I also have to have lotion. You gotta lotion it up. You gotta feel smooth. Nobody wants to look at an ashy body. And I also have what I like to call, now man, I can't tell y'all what I call it. My mama might see this, but I always keep some kind of smell good in your backpack when you go spend the night. You know what I'm saying? Get out the shower, hit the little neck spray, get in with the chest. You know what I'm saying? The heat from the skin, illuminate. You walk out and you just smell scrumps and scrumptious, dilly scrumptious, real good. If y'all need fragrances, Ask me down below. I'll share with y'all my top fragrances that I'm wearing right now. Because smelling good is essential. The better you smell, the closer they are. That's girl or boy. So I always make sure you have some type of smell good in your backpack slash overnight. So I'm going to keep saying backpack because this is a stud edition, not a bag. I always got a backpack. Next, got to take your body wash so you smell good, guys. This is what I like to use. Yes, it's a big bottle, because everywhere I go, they keep, they don't have the little bottle, but if they got the little bottle, I got the little bottle. If not, I roll it all up in my towel with my rag. And I take my body wash with me too. Also, when you go in and spend a night somebody's house, you don't want to look like you're trying to move in. So typically, 
when I take my shower before I leave, I either put on A, a neutral blue color jeans, or some sweatpants. That's key because you gotta have space in your backpack for what you need. So if you put on a neutral color jean or some sweatpants, all you need is a couple of more t-shirts because you could just change it up and match your shoes and you have a different t-shirt. And I also always take a hoodie. You always gotta have a hoodie, guys. Make it simple, keep it simple. You got your own house, you're not trying to move in. You just wanna be there and have your slumber party. So you're not moving in, you don't need all that stuff. Just take you some jogging pants, a hoodie, and an extra t-shirt, and you're good to go for the next day. Also, don't forget to take at least two pair of underwear. I always take at least two pair of underwear and two pair of socks, just in case, because you know, sometimes slumber parties, they don't want you to go home. So if you need to stay and have a two night slumber party, at least you can stay two to three nights because you got extra underwear. Oh, silky, do rag always either on my head or in the backpack gotta have a silky the silky mean you mean business you know what i'm saying put the silky on and tie it up give them the look hold on let me see if i can read let me see if i can give them the look <laughs> when you got the silky on it you give them the the look time for the slumber party to start. That's what's in my, oh! Very, very important for the slumber party. The turn up juice. You gotta have the turn up juice, we'll do it again. Turn up juice is very important for your overnight bag. I always keep turn up juice of some sort, if not this beer. I always gotta have that. Sleeping, basketball shorts, t-shirt, or all dog, whatever you prefer, sports bra. If it's hot outside when you wake up, you just keep the basketball shorts on, throw that t-shirt on that you brought, and you're still ready to go. I always wear a neutral pair of shoes, be it my forces or like some black, my black fours, cause they pretty much go with everything. So that's my, slumber party shoe. Now, I also keep two tampons. We all know as females, our stuff never stay the same. We don't never know when it's coming, so keep you a backup tampon in your backpack for the studs. It's time out for pads if you're still wearing pads of studs. To plug that thing up. It's not cool to have you know, never mind. That's a rant for another day. Matter of fact, I'll probably shoot that video tomorrow. I always got some Nike slides. Nike slides is like the stud holy grail. Gotta have some Nike slides, guys. Just slide them things in. That's your house shoe. If you gotta run, leave them slides behind, baby. They $20. You got to get out of there because somebody been lying, leave the slides behind. That's something that you can leave behind. You know what I'm saying? Slide in, slide out. Don't run in your slides, though, because we all know slides claim lives. Mess around and break that anchor because that slide flip over. So just leave the slides behind if you have to. That's just your ordinary stud slash male slash female. It don't really matter. That's, you know, that's the house you of the 2000s. Everybody got slides. Nobody wear house shoes no more. And if they do, you still got some slides, so don't fake it. All right. Down to the nitty gritty. This is a no judgment zone, so don't pass judgment on you guys. This is just what's in my overnight bag slash show bag. I always have this in my overnight bag slash hoe bag. And this is the first goodie bag. Mom, if you are watching this, this is the part where you just click off and hit the like button. Okay? Don't say I didn't tell you. So in this goodie bag, no judgment zone. 
kind of nervous playing this with y'all. I don't know why, but I'm nervous a little bit. So, forget it. In this bag, we have a blindfold. We all know what blindfolds are for. Don't watch me. Also, there is a very nice silk necktie. This necktie can double as a blindfold. And it also is used to tie you up. Period, point blank. That's what we doing with this necktie. Also, in this bag, no judgment. It's some cleaner. You know, gotta keep it clean. And also in this bag is something that is pink. And that's all you're gonna know. And it's pink and I'm not gonna pull it out. All my adults, you know what that is. We have the Spider-Man bag. The Spider-Man bag is its own self bag and its own self right. Uh, I am a different type of person, so therefore I do keep the Spider the Spider-Man bag is really the bag where I keep the magic, and it's because. Spider-Man is a superhero and I'm a superhero when that time comes. So, <clears throat> in the Spider-Man bag, <laughs> guys, hold on, it's a little tangled up, forget it. It's tangled up, but I'll show y'all the gist of it. This is an under the bed contraption put it up under the mattress in an X form and it comes it's four cups on the under the bed contraption. Now if the Spider-Man bag come up to the slumber party we pretty much go together. So that would be the only reason why it comes with four four of them cuffs. So it's the two arms and the legs can be adjusted as needed. Mama, I warned you. Anybody else? <clears throat> Mama, auntie, uncle, church people, exit now. I'm telling you, if they, you ain't already gone, it's your fault, don't judge me, just pray for me. Also in the Spider-Man bag, y'all, I crack my own self up. But there's a Crown Royal bag with. Yeah, that's Blackie. And there's also. I'm trying to keep this as discreet as possible. There's a Blue Doc Johnson bag. That's, that's Mr. Marks. Mm. Yeah. I also have a harness. I also have. Uh, what else is here? In the Spider Man back. Harness. Extra rings. Some more cleaner. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the Spider-Man bag. Again, if the Spider-Man bag comes, that means we pretty much go together. Now let's do, hold on. Okay. So small disclaimer to all my studs out there. There's been a standing argument about replacing 
the contents of the Crown Royal bag and the Doc Johnson bag. And I hear a lot of younger people say, I don't replace it because men don't replace theirs. Now, that is totally your choice. But for me, new chick, new. But that's just me. And I also use condoms too. But that's just my preference. So that's also, oh yeah, I forgot. It's also in the Spider-Man bag. So I guess that's just your personal preference. But I have now officially shared with you what is in my overnight bag slash hoe bag. That's how I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? If you invite me to spend the night, you see the Spider-Man bag pretty much. You know what time it is. I mean, it's that time with or without the Spider-Man bag, but those are the things that I choose to carry in my overnight bag. I might have left some stuff out only because I'm rushing. But I hope y'all enjoyed what was inside my bag. Leave comments down below what you feel like I need to have in my bag or some different things that I don't have in my bag that you have in your bag. This was a fun video. Y'all also get to know me a little bit better. So thank you for sitting through this video and seeing what was in my bags. Bag of fun. If you enjoyed this video and you want to stick around in Blaze World, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below. I got some stuff coming up for y'all soon, soon, soon. Um, in collaboration with podcasts and my beard, guys. I also have the link below in my description box with podcasts and my beard. Y'all go check out Swear, y'all favorite assistant host on the Blaze Show. I'm going to start posting live videos of the podcast in addition to what I got going over here. So you'll have double the trouble. You'll get me doing videos. You'll get Swirl doing podcasts. So be on the lookout for that. Um, the first post for the podcast will be coming this week on the YouTube channel. So stay looking out. Y'all know the rules around Blaze World. We live our life to the greatest. And we'll always, always, always go be great. Thank you for joining me in Blaze World. And until the next time, y'all know what it is.